Honorable audience, this would be a very short presentation, not really a technical presentation. I would like to speak about the management of difficult oncologic pediatric cases with teamwork. As you know, uh, pediatric oncology surgeons are playing a critical role in diagnostic, staging, and treating a tumor. And the aim of the surgical treatment is to have the most possible complete resection with the best, the best follow-up uh, results. But uh, the total resection and local control of several tumors are difficult due to the location, sometimes like the pelvic or the cervical tumors, the vascular extension, and the vascular and nervous contact. So we do need uh, sometimes for multidisciplinary uh, team in all the management uh, steps to overreach the goal of improving, uh, improving treatment efficiency and patient care. So here we will try with some examples of oncologic pathologies operated by surgical collaborative multidisciplinary team and literature review to see this indication of surgical collaboration and the advantages of it. Excuse me. So our first case is a two-month-old girl with abdominal mass and the abdominal sound uh, showed a large median abdominal pelvic tumor mass. In the CT, this mass was uh, retroperitoneal surrounding the abdominal aorta and the two primitive, primitive iliac arteries and the biopsy confirmed a neuroblastoma with, without amplified enmic. So after chemotherapy, uh, the TAP scan showed an increase of the tumor, so we decided to operate this patient with the collaboration of the cardiovascular team, and uh, at the end, we succeeded to make a complete resection of this mass, uh, despite it was very uh, adherent. You see here uh, the vessels after the resection of the tumor. So the lesson of this first case is that uh, the major challenge of surgical resection is nor in neuroblastoma is the vessel encasement. But several studies showed that gross tumor resection is feasible even we have complete encasement of the vessel. And here came the role of the, uh, plastics, uh, the vascular surgeon because he will help you in case of vascular injury to make vascular anastomosis and even to have prothetic material like you see in this example. This is the cava with a vascular prothesis. The second case is a two years uh, old girl that have a right lateral cervical uh, mass with right Claude uh, Bernard uh, syndrome and recurrent bronchiolites. In the CT scan, this is uh, a mass with calcification and the biopsy confirmed a, a mediastinal gonglioneuroblastoma. So uh, we decided to operate this patient and when we discussing with the thoracic surgery, they advised us to uh, choose this route, the cormier dartevel grunwald route. Uh, honestly, we didn't uh, know this before. So it's an extended iliac SJ uh, incision. It can be done with a different manner, but you know, the key point here is to make a transmanubrial uh, incision and it allow you to have a good visibility and spinal accessibility and you preserve here the vascular structure like the cartile, the vertebral, the vertebral arteries, uh, the jugular veins, and also the nerve, which is uh, important in this case of uh, tumors. Now the third uh, case uh, is a child aged five years admitted for abdominal mass, and here we had uh, a right kidney tumor with uh, cavoatrial extension of intravascular uh, thrombus, and uh, even after chemotherapy we had non-significant non uh, change. So here also we decided to operate uh, this uh, patient and the uh, cardiovascular uh, surgeon helped us in uh, the, of the cava to make the cavotomy and to make the extraction of this thrombus. The fourth case is similar to the third case. It's a two years old girl with abdominal mass. And here also we have a vascular uh, thrombi but that is extending till the intracardiac uh, cavities. And here, uh, definitely, you need uh, the cardiovascular surgeon because they have the possibility to have a cardiopulmonary uh, bypass. Uh, and uh, here you see the cover that was uh, opened with the extraction of the, the, the thrombi. 
So the lessons of the third and the fourth case is that the intravascular tumor thrombus extension occurs in 50% of the cases, and here we will require, it's mandatory to have the cardiovascular with you, especially the possibility of cardiopulmonary uh, bypass and hypothermy, and here you can have a better prognosis with the cardiovascular surgeon. The fifth case is uh, a 10-year-old girl with Ewing uh, sarcoma, no response after chemotherapy, and here we operate the patient with the plastic surgery uh, team. So uh, we did the resection of the tumor involving the fifth, sixth, and seventh ribs and the intercostal uh, spaces, and after, the plastic surgeon helped us with the prosthesis because we have like a huge defect and also to make a plastic using the dorsal muscle flap. Really, we have better results with the uh, plastic uh, surgeon, and even in the literature, this uh, gives a real stability of the uh, chest and also reduce the risk of infection, and we have also a better prognosis uh, in the long term. So, as you can see, uh, there are no limits for collaboration between a pediatric surgeon and uh, other specialities. We can also mention the interventional radiology like the radiofrequency in some hepatic metastasis or the embolization in some hepatic uh, masses or other. Also the radiotherapy for the Curie therapy for prostatic rhabdomyosarcoma that can avoid us mutilant uh, surgery. And also a liver transplant team with pretext uh, for hepatoblastoma and the use of uh, skin expanders with the plastic surgeon in some cutaneous uh, tumor. So in uh, conclusion, uh, conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, uh, collaboration definitely leads to a better management with much more encouraging results, especially in the oncologic pathology. And you know this uh, collaboration will lead to an experience mixing with which, which uh, will give us something that will turn to perfection. And you know, uh, we as pediatric surgeons, we must have a uh, lot of qualities. And perhaps the best quality that a pediatric surgeon can have is humility. And when you will succeed to defeat your ego, surely you will go uh, further and you will consider the benefits that you will have with this collaboration. Usually I put uh, at the end of uh, my slides the images of Tunisia to encourage you to visit Tunisia, but this time I will emphasize also with uh, the next meeting, the Maghrebian meeting that will be uh, in uh, Morocco. So you, you must know that Morocco have a wonderful uh, football team, but they also have a wonderful pediatric surgery team, and I encourage you all to go. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention. It's the end. Okay. <laughs> we have a time. Okay. time okay. Okay. Just one question, uh, Dr. Amin. Thank you very much for this explicit presentation. <laughs> uh, we do actually uh, multidisciplinary tumor board meetings weekly back home. And of course, the pediatric oncologist is always there. At times, they overdo the chemo. Now, regarding the neuroblastoma, which a uh, few of your cases were neuroblastoma, they, they actually ask us to at least remove 85% of the tumor, and you know, and then they will take care of it with the radiotherapy and so on. Do, do you agree with that? Yes, definitely we agree with this. In neuroblastoma, it, it is not mandatory to take off all the, the mass. Yes, we should not take a lot of risk, but, but uh, in some cases with the cardiovascular surgeon, besides you, you can take more risks, you know because even you have uh, an injury of the vessel, he will help you. This is very important. Okay. Any question? Okay. First of all, uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much for the kind uh, words toward Moroccan. Uh, team and uh, all of you are uh, of course welcome. Uh, second, I wonder how do, how do you find time to prepare such a good uh, presentation? <laughs> uh, and my question is, uh, are you uh, organized uh, as a staff yes. which uh, has meeting regular meeting weekly yes. or and uh, are all the members in the same uh, university, the same uh, city, or uh, yes. all over the uh, Tunisia. Tunisia. 
thank you very much for your uh, question. Yes, we have a multidisciplinary staff, a mouth, a mouthly uh, multidisciplinary uh, staff with many specialties from different cities. We have radiotherapy, chemotherapy from SUS, from a city 20 kilometers uh, far from uh, Monastir. We have the oncology team, uh, we have the pediatrician, and now we try to collaborate with more with uh, plastic surgeons, with uh, cardiovascular surgeons, and even other interventional radiology and so on. You know, it's a habit that was in our department uh, from, uh, you know, uh, many years. Dr. Nouri perhaps can tell you this. It's uh, from 30 years, I think, that we'll have this, uh, this meeting. And I think it's very good also to discuss with the other specialities. It's very important. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Or welcome. Right. Uh, Dr. Amin, I would like to congratulate you not only for the wonderful presentation and beautiful slides, but for the perfect organization and the generous hospitality. You, Dr. Lassad Sahnoun, and all the team in Tunisia actually made a great job bringing all this wonderful audience from all around the world. <laughs> so it's really a great job that uh, uh, de uh, deserves that we uh, recognize it. I thank you so much. And not only for the pediatric surgery teams, but for the football teams in Tunisia and in Morocco, they are as good as the pediatric surgery team. So I thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> last time? Uh, okay, yes. last, I think this is my last question. Yes. Uh, did you involve it in uh, vascular access management of oncological patient? This is, a, this is a very good question. Actually, we, we let the, uh, the cardiovascular surgeon to make, uh, actually we let the cardiovascular surgeon, the vascular surgeon to make this, but you know, um, it's, it's, uh, you should talk with, uh, with the cardiovascular surgeon. It's very important to have a plan before beginning the surgery. Who will do this? Where, where, when I will intervene? When I will do uh, this? So it's very important to have a plan to discuss with all the protagonists before beginning the surgery. In the for, I mean in the board cat or central line or so? Yes. No, but for, for cardiothoracic. Uh, we, do, we do by ourselves. By ourselves. Yes, okay. by ourselves, yes. I think this will bring us to the end of a wonderful session. We enjoyed very much the presentations and the uh, discussion by the audience.